Hello, today I'm doing a video for a complete teardown of the Logitech Gaming Mouse G500S. Now G500S is very similar to um, design wise, it's almost identical to the G5 Gaming Mouse on Logitech. And that's part of the reason why I bought it, because uh, I really like the G5 Gaming Mouse that I have on Logitech. I don't actually use it for gaming and so much, I'm more used uh, for the button for copy and paste functions and other variety of function left and right and stuff. So I figure um, there really isn't a good teardown video on the internet for this mouse and for those people who are wondering what's so special about the G500S compared to the G5 mouse. Um, and that's what I'm doing a teardown today, so you can see and compare yourself the inside mouse, inside specs. Uh, from just using it, it really isn't all that much difference. Uh, you do have more, shall we say, the yeah, more speed of the G500S compared to the old older generation G500 mouse. Um, However, it's depending on your specs, it's barely noticeable. You don't really know the difference, um, the way you set it. So, at, at least I can tell the difference the way I use it for my mouse for. So I don't... Aside from the color blue and red changes, I can't really tell that much of the difference, but I'm sure that in the specs of the mouse is very different. Okay, so to do this teardown, in case you're repairing this for whatever reason in the future, there's nothing wrong with this mouse. I'm just doing a teardown review for you guys. You first have to remove these uh, sticky, well, these uh, friction pad out from the mouse. Uh, I'm using a a pro project mat from cyberdagalc.com. It's essentially a giant magnet that's quite strong. Um, to take the screws out and it's also rewritable so you can actually use a marker uh dry erase a marker pen to write on it and draw a picture of the mouse. Which I think I could do right now. Give me one second to find the dry eraser pen. Um, there we go. On the dry eraser pen. Okay, so I'll also show you how the mat works. Um here we go. And get more lighting. Okay, so from what I can see, there's one, two, three, four screws. So what you want to do is you want to get a Phillips screwdriver. You want to match to the proper size so you don't damage the screw too easily. And then you can untie the screw. But before I do that, I want to get a rough, um, rough drawing of the mouse. That way, later on, I can always put it back where I find the screws. Okay, so this is my rough estimate. I do want to draw the little mouse eye. And this is where the top screws are. Uh, the other two, three screws. Okay, so I took this screw from the side. I'm going to put it here. So I remember it's from the side. And always close to your... Dry, uh, dry razor pen because it dries up. Okay, and you want to match the screw to exact what locations. As you can see, this mat is pretty magnetic, the screw doesn't really fly anyway. It's really a big improvement compared to the other magnets on the market. Very well. So yeah, the purpose of this mat serves two things. You can both work on it. Um, so when you do your repairs or teardowns, you don't lose your screw because the screw is gonna fall on a magnet, right? And also you can draw pictures, diagrams, just so you can find the screw later on with its identical spot. Um, I believe that's all the screw there is. You do want to take out these weights slot uh, if you put it in, which I did, and put it on the side. 
Mm, let's see now. How do we separate this? I believe these comes out. Not quite sure. I believe this comes out. Yeah, there we go. I click. So you want to be gentle. Um, if you have a pick, which I have one, let me just look for it. I think it's around on the table. One second. There it is. Here you go. I got a metal guitar pick. That will help the opening. Sometimes you can use a credit card that works as well. Since I don't know where exactly the lash is at, I don't really want to damage my mouse. I uh, use. So I'm gonna use the plastic piece instead of mechanic uh, metal for now. Uh, mind you, this is the first time opening this mouse, so I don't. Your guess is as good as mine. Where the plastic latch is at. I think it's around this corner. There we go. That's one down. side as well. I do wonder, you know what, I think there's more screws in here because it's giving me some resistance. So as you can see, there is a screw down here. Let me zoom in for you. You see that? There's a little indentation here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to lift the sticker up as well. Unfortunately this will sort of damage the cosmetic of my mouse. But if I have an exacto knife this can be possibly done without damaging the mouse cosmetics. But yeah anyway, anyhow there's a screw here so what I want to do now is I want to remove this as well. See, I know this because as I was buying uh, the mouse, this is what makes a pro, um, I guess, pro I tear down compared to like someone new. Uh, when I was first starting, this could be a big problem, but if you do this enough times, you real you you do it gently. When at first, if things doesn't go, you see that it goes pretty quickly. As I remove that screw. So yeah, if, if you, you first pry it lightly, you remove all the screw you can see, and then look for the one that's hidden. Uh, if that still doesn't do it for you, you pry it lightly, and that doesn't do it, you should be suspecting more hidden screw, hidden screw, so you need to look around for them. Anyway, that was good educational experience, and the mouse now is, there's really no latch clipping on it, it's aside from the screws. Um, so you can see here, <clears throat> there is a uh, ribbon cable and I think it's a flip off switch yeah I think I think it's always oh, a power off switch I'm not sure let me have a closer look as you can see here switch over here I want to remove the ribbon cable go to the side panel otherwise it's very hard to remove the other one mm. I think it's a power switch. I'm gonna try to flip it up or see if it does anything. Oh, it does. May maybe. Yep, it's a flip off switch. So you just flip it, and you pull the ribbon cable. So now I have it disassembled it from the side panel. This is the side panel port. Um, I don't really see the point of removing this. Only because there is only two screw you see here, one, two, and obviously this thing pulls right out. There's two more screw here, one, two, and that will allow you to remove this ball. And after that, it's just the side buttons, and it's gonna be a pain to put it back, so I'm just gonna leave it alone as, as is. Um, yeah, unless you want me to do this, so. Write some comments if you want me to make a video for this, but I don't see really disappointing doing that.
besides that side panel, I know there's really not much stuff on it. Um, just a connector, a bunch of buttons, and a few transistors on it. I s yeah, that's a button. Okay, so this is the main board of the mouse. Um, the song Om Rong set, um, I guess, switch. The wheels, it's very light, so I guess if you do get hair, somehow get stuck in here, uh, or dust, this is how you can open your mouse and remove it. And the rest of the mouse, uh, this, these springs are for these weights, so you can see, it goes in and you click, and so yeah, th these things only go with the weights, it doesn't really do anything else. Um, is it possible to remove these without moving everything else? Alright, so I guess there's only two screw here, one, two that I can see. If I remove these, this two ball should come out on its own, but I'm afraid of gonna affecting these mm. okay so I see how this works you remove this two scoop pull out this metal thingy and you can pull this out that way that's how you can remove it so I'm gonna show you in detail um, it's going to be challenging with the current screwdriver I'm using, so I'm going to change the head to a finer screwdriver. Maybe you have a bit of luck. There we go. Okay. It's somewhat challenging. Um, let me see. Maybe no good way to do this. Mm. I think I might have to bend this. See that? Bending it and pull this off first. Hmm. I wonder what's holding all this together. Ah, there it is. Well, it's kind of like a puzzle, isn't it? It's a little... Uh... I guess... Stopper? Stuck in the way, and now I think the clear piece can be moved after that, there we go. Comes right up, um, you want to be careful, this assembly looks delicate. Delicate, so... Let's not mess with it. Um, it's pretty simple. Well, it's pretty simple, really. It has a little metal retainer here and the ball spins. That's it. Alright. Uh, I see there's two springs. I don't know if it's loose or not. It looks... It looks like a bad idea if I lose it. So, yeah, it's pretty loose. It's not screwing or anything. This spring can just fall right out, so you be not careful. This is two little springs. Very delicate. Okay, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Um, these were the two screws I tried to remove before, so I can, as you can see here, there's one, two, three, four screws. 
I'm gonna try to get a to get subway to the board because I'm come this far anyway, so I might as well get through it. So I'm gonna take out the two springs. I hope they're magnetic. Good, they're magnetic. So they're not flying anyway in time soon with these magnets. Okay, don't mess up those springs. You lose them, you're kinda screwed. Uh, I'm missing a big button. So yeah, those spring. I don't think I can find another one. It's hard to find. Alright, so these s screws I'm gonna put on the side as such. No way to put them back. And this metal retainer it really doesn't really serve any other purpose than keeping everything in place, I guess. So I'm gonna bend it back because I bent it a little bit earlier. Thinking that I'll release the magnetism. Uh, there's two screws here. Okay, I wanna also be careful because I don't know if it's holding anything. I've been check. Go so that piece come up. Um, screw still attached. Okay. All right. Now it comes down to the two major board. Um, I think they are put together with a gently pry open. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you can just get these through hole connectors off without damaging anything. I wonder if I can do this. No work. Do it very gently. So this solder joint looks a little bit like dry. Hmm. See, so, yeah, I don't. I don't really see any. Um. I don't really see any screws that's still on. So that could preventing us from removing the board. Hmm. Yeah, I already see it. It should come off. Notice I'm prying on a spot that has nothing underneath. Okay. I don't know if they solder these on actually. I don't know if I can remove them. I'm not sure. I think these might have to be soldered off. I really don't want to have to do that. Um, let me try one more trick. Well, I guess this will be it. I guess I could I could take the board out if you guys want to watch it, but that's kind of boring. Oh well. I could take everything out. So there's three screw here. Kind of need another drawing. But since they're all the same, it's not too much a problem. Three screw here. Here, this piece comes out lightly. Whoop, something happened. Nope, nothing happened. All right, so I can remove the bottom bowl without any issue because I can see all the screw that's there. Um, yeah, I think this is as far as I can go actually without doing some soldering.
Yeah, I have a feeling this archery part of the connector. How strange. Okay, um I guess I can still remove the board. Not that I want to. Too late for that. It's gonna take me a while to put this back. Um yeah, that's pretty much it. Glue this cover. Yep, some glue down here. Um, otherwise, this thing comes off. One zone. Okay, so that's the base of the mouse, and this will be what makes the gaming mouse a gaming mouse. Um, like you can see, these connectors are in desoldered on. And this will be this will be the mini laser over here. 